This is Thomas Lyons for Raps on TV. Here in the NSE in Birmingham for the Body Power Expedition. Fortunate to be joined by Faye the Grenade. How are you doing, Faye? Uh, good, thank you. Really good. Glad to be here. Yeah, enjoying the event? Obviously. Yeah, I That's love it. Meeting Dan Hardy is just like blew my mind. It's been amazing. So talk to me a little bit about your background. I know you've kind of been uh, diving into the kickboxing, the uh, Muay Thai. Just talk to me a little bit about uh, sort of how you started in martial arts. Uh, I did obviously gymnastics four years in then I've done um, I did a six week training course with Martin Geffen and it all kicked off from there and I started from the very bottom my first time was actually in France and I've worked my way up and now I'm two times European champion I've tried to go for the world but I can't find any points so moving on to be obviously fun. at this kind of stage you're like development obviously learning all the time picking yeah. up new tricks new skills saw you on the bag obviously new like little elements that you've how difficult is it to kind of bridge that gap between European and world level? Uh, you've obviously achieved a lot so far, so early on. The difference between European and world level is... I'll, I'll just say that there's not much of a difference. You've just got to be a bigger person than your opponent. You've got to go in and you've got to fight until you can't fight no more. There's nothing... I'd give it up everything to fight for that world. I really would. I mean, I'm always on fight camp, but never. I'm always doing. I take my, I take my fight career professionally. So. Obviously, uh, high profile names like the Dan Hardy, other kind of, uh, I mean, elite kind of athletes in the yeah. top of their game. How much of an experience has this been so far for you to learn from these guys who have reached the top of their industry? Uh, I, I watch the UFC all the time, and I. I I watch it and I analyse it and I take it back to training and meeting people like Dan is just amazing yeah. and watching all of his fights it's, it's incredible it really is. What sort of uh, advice have they given to you? Like obviously Dan's been around the UFC, Bellator, but really the top of the industries yeah. in the sport. Obviously worked with the likes of John Jones, uh, Conor McGregor, all these kind of high profile names. What have they taught you sort of so early on for when you do have aspirations to go on to that level? Uh, they've, they've just taught me to to always keep training and always keep pushing yourself to the limits to achieve what they've achieved, so yeah. that's what I'm going to do. And uh, sort of what brings you down to obviously body power, very sort of nutrition, sports science based, and then obviously a lot of different aspects. You've got the martial arts, got the mat out, might see you later on, maybe yeah. do a bit of grappling, and um, obviously got the boxing section here with RDX. So, I mean, in total, a very inclusive environment for athletes like yourself to yeah. find out. Uh, it's just my life. I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, all my friends are always out on the street. I'm out training. I coach six till seven, and I train seven to half eight. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah. Really Obviously, haven't won the European Championships already. What's your ambitions now for the next sort of maybe two, three years? What would you like to do? The next two, three years, I focus on boxing. Maybe getting to the Olympics, not the next, the very next Olympics, and then see where it takes me. It could end up in the UFC. Yeah. And where did the uh, nickname the grenade come from? I don't know. Or, uh... It's actually my nan because I'm so small. But in the ring, I just I leave it all it's in like there. It's like a loose cannon, yeah. like always electric. So that's my nan come up with it. So it's stuff. Yeah. Stuff. Obviously, I wrapped on TV. We're a boxing platform. Obviously, you just touched on there. You'd like to maybe have aspirations to go yeah. to the Olympics. Do you watch a lot of boxing at the moment? Uh, I'm always watching any sort of boxing, UFC, Bellator. I'm always on, sitting on the sofa watching it. Yeah, in terms of like obviously female athletes at the top of their game, obviously in boxing we've got the likes of Clarissa Shields, uh, Katie Taylor obviously at the top of her game, uh, Delphi Pair soon in the yeah. unification on June 1st at the MSG, uh, also uh, Nicola Adams making that transition from the Olympics to obviously pro career. Then obviously in UFC we've got uh, I mean, loads of them, Holly Holmes. Rosa Menounos are absolutely good to for us. Rosa all these kind of uh, yeah. fighters. I, I trained with um, BCB boxer, Rachel Ball, uh, the ginger boxer we all call her. So I've, I just work with so many good people. It just makes me keep inspiring to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, how much of an inspiration are the likes of Katie Taylor, Clarissa Shields, Chantel Cameron, all these top they're, fighters? They're like amazing. These. I watch them and I just think I could be there. I, I, I need to keep training. Get that head movement like Katie and yeah. I'll be alright. Honestly, I love your attitude. <laughs> Thanks very much for giving us some of your time. Oh, it's been a
Fade the Grenade, Raps on TV, here at Birmingham uh, Body Power Expedition. I wish you all the best in the future and I'm sure we'll catch up soon. Yeah, definitely.